Shut up and sit down. Howdy guys, it's Andy from Big Mac's Workshop and Painting Studio and today I am painting Harmony from Steve Forge Games which is uh, a guild ball figure. Um, beautiful fig, as always with Steve Forge, their stuff is absolutely stonking. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing this one. I, tried to I decided I was going to paint the skin without using washers um, just to see if I could. So I started off with uh, Vallejo's Model Air Flesh tone, which I, obviously I've got on for all over the uh, arms and the face. Uh, it's a really good uh, base flesh colour. The um, paint is um, more of a brown pigment rather than a classic sort of pink. Uh, the hair, um, I used the Leo's um, red leather which is uh, what I, my go-to for any kind of uh, ginger or uh, some lighter uh, leather work uh, for uh, belts and such. As you can see, I have uh, pre-highlighted uh, the base coat, um, which was done with a uh, light grey. So now what I'm doing is I'm painting uh, a second coat of uh, the uh, flesh colour. Uh, it's a slight mix of, with some beige brown and I'm putting that into the uh, deeper sections of the face and the skin work um, making, adding that shade in where the um, washes would normally go but actually painting it in for a change so it's uh, put much more control over where it's going and um, um, now I've added a touch of light flesh which is, again is a, another go-to paint for me it's a light flesh combined with sunny skin tone, which is uh, going over the um, over the flesh tone. Uh, these are obviously really thinned down, so I've got loads of control uh, where the paint is. I do apologise for the uh, camera work. This, uh, Steamforge figs don't seem to like, like our cameras um, until um, there's plenty of paint down on it. So I'm adding some more. Uh, light flesh. I find light flesh is a really good colour for fe painting female, um, painting female figures. It really accentuates the uh, sort of a, a slightly brighter colour uh, uh, colour what um, the uh, fe female uh, figures tend to need, uh, but as they have the sharper uh, features. Obviously, I'm. Um, uh, Keeping towards the, the more raised areas now with the uh, light skin tone. Um, really focusing on the cheekbones and the nose and the uh, upper brow just to get that definition where you would expect the, the highlights to be and the light to hit. And once again, um, another layer with the with, uh, pure light flesh, more directly, more directed towards the um, face than the arms, and just up the upper sections of, of the uh, of the flesh work, um, making sure that that light looks really, that the skin looks really vibrant in the raised areas. For the armor plates, uh, which she has very few of, I used the um, GW Space Wolf Tricolor. So I start off with rust grey. Um, on the armor plates as a base as a baseline. I wanted the armor to look a little bit different to what you would classically see on a Mason player. Um, so I went for a sort of a bluey grey rather than straight up metal work. The trousers, uh, I've gone back to my good old favourite uh, burnt red, uh, which as always gives you a really rich um, red base colour to work with. And I've just gone give it a nice decent coat over the uh, entirety of the uh, trousers to give you the, uh, a nice smooth coat and the upper uh, clothing uh, 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 vest is going to be white so I'll start off with Vallejo's pale grey blue which is a great start point for any whites what you uh, want to be doing. Oh, 
on the uh, across the entirety of the fig, I put a little bit of agrax um, in, in as a uh, a shade into the uh, recesses, especially the hair, because it really works um, well with the red leather as a uh, hair colour. Gives you a really natural uh, red rather than a classic ginger. It makes for a nice change on the um, colours as well. It's, uh, I find it's a really, a really nice shade of hair um, to paint on, onto, a fit, onto a fig. The armour and the um, weapon were obviously uh, washed with good old fashioned non oil. Can't go wrong with this stuff. Uh, especially with the detail work and the armour, it's, in, it's engraved. So it really picks out the uh, armor, uh, the armor engraving on the plates. Having done that, whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I uh, start working on uh, the uh, trousers, which is a 50/50 of Vallejo's gory red and the burnt red. Uh, just to slowly start to add the highlights in, uh, I like to uh, use a base of the um, original colour for my highlight. Uh, just sort of allows you to uh, blend the uh, highlights up a little bit nicer. The leather work was done in uh, baked brown for the belt and the bags. Um, again, it's just a really good colour for any kind of. Um, pale leather. Whilst I'm uh, waiting for the other stuff to dry, I start working on the um, upper reaches of the uh, uh, of her shirt. Uh, I'm now using a mix of off grey and pale grey blue, off white and pale grey blue even, um, and just uh, Give me what would essentially be a thin base coat over the uh, pale grey blue, uh, but leaving the shaded re um, recesses. So it's more of a base than a, a highlight. The armour is now using Fenrisian grey as the uh, second um, layer. Again, the uh, Space Wolf Tricolor is a really good system. Um, makes for a really nice sort of almost non-metallic metal armour um, it's, it, it's a lazy man's way of doing non-metallic I suppose uh, it does look good though it gives a really interesting um, interesting pattern effect on actual armour plates and then the edge highlights was done in the rust grey Not rushed grey, sorry, uh, I apologise, it's a space wolf grey. Um, and then I mix a little bit of off white in there just to add a few really nice highlights. Now, obviously, this is a bit of a, a quicker uh, tutorial than what I'm normally got, what would normally give you. Uh, this is a, uh, obviously, it's just for a Monday, so. We save the uh, better tutorials for uh, later on in the week. The boots, I'll come back to my old favourite of um, Burnt Umber, um, which in my opinion you can't go wrong with, it's just one of them calls what works with everything. Um, it, ju it just blends in so well amongst the rest of your colour palette. I kept the sword simple, I didn't want to do anything over the, to uh, over the top, it's just a simple sword. Uh, nothing fancy about it, no power and G or anything like that. So good old fashioned iron breaker with a little bit of highlight from Roomfang. Can't go wrong with M colours if you just want it for a simple sword. Uh, the hair is to be highlighted with a 50 50 of red leather and ivory. I use ivory um, and off whites instead of whites because they give you a better uh, blend, um, more natural shading. And also, if you're using white, you've got no further, uh, 
no way to go further up. So it gives you a bit more um, leeway when it comes to your ed uh, edge highlights. So there we go, uh, one very quickly painted uh, Harmony from Girl Ball. This only took me a couple of hours to paint all in, uh, obviously it's uh, only a 10 minute video. But we do hope you uh, enjoyed. If you've got any questions about this paint job or any other paint uh, paintwork we've done, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, you know where we are. Uh, drop us a message on Facebook. If you like what you see and you want to see some more of our videos, uh, please uh, hit like and subscribe. We enjoy making these videos for you and we love any feedback. So if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions for us, let us know. Thank you very much and see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.